すべてはここから始まった。なき闘争と反逆血の宿命だ私の愛する平八さんはやがて世界を戦乱に巻き込む多くの犠牲を生むでしょう貴様何者じゃ我は剣を清めし者なる全ては動き出したもう誰も止めることはできない。があの時母を殺した貴様をここで終わらせる貴様の野望もこれで終わりじゃ戦いと最後にどちらが立っているか。それだけのこと。決着をつけるとするか。Man, they really kind of laid that on thick, didn't they? All right, so this is Tekken 7 on、uh, PS3. I didn't expect to get this game, even though I did just buy a bunch of Tekken games off PSN,、uh, the old ones that are on PS3. And then I just happened to notice that Tekken 7 for PS4 was on sale for $10. And I was like, oh. Well, guess we might as well. I mean, $10? Yeah, I'll check that out. So here we are.、Um, uh, so basically, I've been playing Tekken games for the past four days for more or less the first time ever. So I have no idea what I'm doing.、Uh, what is this? Okay. What's in the gallery? Ooh. Well, this is handy actually because, let's see, the games that I own currently, the ones that you can buy and download on PSN are Tekken 1, Tekken 2, these, these were、uh, PS1 games. So is Tekken 3, but they don't have that one on the store for some reason. They don't have Tekken Tag, that's a PS2 game, I think. Tekken 4 was a PS2 game. I actually owned that back in the day because I wanted the Tekken Force. Uh, beat em up mode, and then I never really played it.、Uh, I wasn't that impressed by it. 
I have Tekken 5 on PS3. That's kind of my favorite so far. Well, yeah, uh, Tekken 6 is was apparently a disc-only game on PS3, so you can't download that one. Then I have Tekken Tag Tournament 2 on PS3, and uh, now we have Tekken 7. So why is there a... Oh, I see. Alright, well... I have 3 million fight money, cool. I guess. So wait, purchase 100, so I could just buy everything? Is that what this is saying? I guess it is. Well, I can get all these. Can't you, or you can buy them individually. So what, oh, these are movies. Jeez, it's got all the movies from Tekken Tag Tournament 2? That's nuts. Why would it? Well, there's a lot of art in here. Jeez. Oh, this would be faster than un unlocking him in the gallery in the actual Tekken 5, I suppose. Oh, huh. Same style. Why is it only the girls? Who is this? Oh, Lily, right. Uh, Tekken 4, so... Oh, uh huh. It's kind of a cool style, the sketchy. Oh, look at the movie zooming in. Whoops. Wait, what is this? Oh, opening demo. I am kind of... Well... Oh my gosh, this is loud. Alright, it's too loud. What else do we got? Well, whatever. Man. Huh. They don't have everybody's... Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess that is, because there's only eight starting playable characters. You do unlock eight or nine more, but maybe those others don't have... There really isn't much here, actually. Sound. They actually changed their... Uh, they, they don't have the setup input method that they had from the beginning of Tekken, which was showing a controller, and then you hold a button down on the controller, and it lights up the, the button on the diagram of the of the controller on screen and then you toggle through the functions. I actually thought that was pretty cool. Admittedly, this is probably a little faster to do with this sort of Street Fighter 5-way. Uh, but whatever, I kind of like the old method. Although they sort of semi-screwed it up in Tag 2. It was weird. Uh, not much going on here. Alright. Player information, I have barely done anything. Look at all this money I have, though. And this menu music. It's really kind of loud. Uh, okay. And 
this is a bowling game, I guess, which is DLC, so I, I haven't bought any DLC. I, I might buy one DLC thing if I like, if I end up sort of enjoying the fighting. Um, there's one character I kind of like from 5. But uh, for now, let's just go on. So I'm not going to play online, but there's a whole online thing. There's, I guess, this whole story mode thing, which I'm not going to do right now. Uh, well, let's just at least look at the beginning of it. Okay, that's interesting. Beginners, yeah. Tougher than the standard setting, you don't say. I like how they have a disclaimer there saying that no, it doesn't change the story. You don't get, you don't miss story if you play it on easy. Oh dear, this is gonna be really I slow, isn't it? Receiving my first letter from oh my, my son gosh. Back. Scribbled on it were the words, I oh. love you. I was so happy, I cried. Oh, I think I saw some of this on YouTube already. This is at like a time, reporter. I that love was all yeah, I've watched at least some of this before. It's a reporter who's like trying For to report now, on I've the corporation. Certain father and yeah. And then all right. Skip move. Yeah, that guy's voice. I don't know. I wouldn't have picked that dude. <laughs> I said skip movie. Dang it. Well, I broke it. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, gosh. I don't really understand. I don't want to reset moves. I, don't, I didn't map a default assist button because I'm not some noob chump. I mean, I am, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pretend I'm not. There. See? I'm, I can't even beat... The beginning of story mode because I didn't map your stupid assists and I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna quit. Anyway, so that's story mode. Cool. I'm not a huge fan of these story modes fighting games are doing these days where you you kind of, you know, it's one story and you just switch characters according to who wants you to be at certain points. Uh, not my thing. Uh, so, offline. Arcade battle. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Thank you. I looked it up and Tekken means Iron Fist. So these are all the DLC characters out so far that I have not purchased. You'll see it's kind of expensive. I think characters you can buy individually for, what, five or six bucks? Marduk I, may be the one I end up buying because he's in five and he's kind of a hoot in five. So if I end up liking the combat in seven here, I'll probably pony up the six bucks or whatever it is for him. Uh, the others I don't really, I don't know. Not maybe Armor King, maybe. But... The rest of them not, not so far grabbing me. Uh, so who should I play? I don't know this dude. Let's see. What's cool about this, in, in 5 you could do all this, or no, in Tag Tournament you could do all this customization, but it didn't have a whole bunch of presets for you to pick from, really. I like the shiny suits, but that's kind of cool. Do this Roby one. Shaheen. Shaheen. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I'm so ready. Now I was kind of dreading the one reason that I hadn't thought about actually purchasing Tekken 7 before, you know, when it wasn't on sale was that I'd heard the load time and I'd seen in videos that the load times were pretty long, but you know, they aren't they're survivable. So far, I see that wasn't terrible. Good old thing. Oh, it's so clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I don't understand why throws have to have this piercing purple flash. So watch. Oh, I can't even throw. There, that piercing purple flash when you do a throw, it makes me not want to do throws. Round two. Fight. You're very non-fluid with this guy. I do like his fancy robes, though. Oh no! Bonk. I love the old wooden board rank things. Uh, so I. Tekken Tag Tournament was super, uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 on PS3 is super impressive in some ways. The customization, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the UI was a little weird in some ways too, but just the level of detail. You could like change people's hair in like three different ways, just the shape of it. You could change like bangs, you could change the side curls, you could change the ponytail. This is for a girl. That's just ridiculous, and they all could look pretty good, whereas I was used to customization in Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown, where you could just pick just single chunks of, you know, a single hairdo uh, thing, and most of them were terrible looking. So, and you can also, in, in Tag Tournament 2, you can color objects of clothing any color you want. Whereas in Final Showdown, Virtue Fighter 5 Final Showdown, you were stuck with whatever colors they gave you, and the colors were messed up. Like, the, the colors had looked good in 5 Vanilla, and then they did something. They, like, reduced the uh, surface effects and shaders and stuff or something, and colors got all washed out and gross looking in Final Showdown. So, uh, anyway, so that was messed up. And, Tag Tournament 2's customization doesn't have any of that trouble, so it's pretty amazing what you can do in terms of customization in that game. I could get really get sucked into that. The thing is, though, I don't really like the tagging, and that whole that game's whole combat system seems set up to just have everybody kind of do the same type of uh, juggly multi-person long combos, and long combos aren't my thing. Uh, tagging in and out with a fifth button was was really not my thing. And, uh, and it, it seemed like they just kind of genericized everybody in a game, in a series, where the, the, a lot of the characters that are already do feel fairly generic, but in Tag Team Runit 2, everybody kind of felt like they were just doing the same things. And I think they did that so you could have these, you know, character to character consistent juggling uh, combos and things I guess but I, I don't know so my first impression of that game was that it just felt like every fight felt the same no matter who was fighting so I'm kind of hoping but I did like the customization I liked just the richness of the the textures and the colors and the lighting. Uh, the lighting was a little overblown in that game. Too much colored lighting, uh, too much darkness and dark areas that you can't really see anything in. And that game was only 720p on PS3, which was typical for 720 for PS3. But it had been nice that uh, Tekken 5 on PS5, on PS3, which I guess was a port from the PSP, uh, I guess because it was sort of this low-detail PSP, you know, models, and it looks a little low-detail for PS3, but uh, they could run it at, at 1080p, so it's at least really sharp. Um, and it doesn't have all this heavy lighting effects and stuff, so... so Tekken 5 is actually kind of nice and clear, and then Tekken Tag Tournament, you know, it's lower resolution and uh, kind of muddy lighting in some cases, and so I, I'm kind of hoping that this game will be sort of the best of, of both Tekken 5 and Tag Tournament 2, that it'll be sharp and... Uh, 
you know, it is in 1080p. Uh, like Tekken 5 was, and have, you know, one-on-one -on -one combat, which is more my thing. But like Tag, it will have, you know, really rich textures and you know, just huge variety of customization and all that kind of stuff. And so far, it seems to be working out that way. The combat does feel a little more differentiated between characters, even though I've only played, like, two. <laughs> what is kind of surprising me is how quickly you get to a boss character in this arcade battle mode. I did just lose, so let me see if I can do a little better here. I still feel really clunky with this guy, like, I'm not really flowing into major combos. Of course, I'm just button mashing. What the heck is that? Oh no, I'm gonna get crushed. Let me see if I can do my rage art thing. Uh, I, have a, I have a real... Oh, okay, it's right there. That's handy. So I think I'm in rage, so all I have to do is hit both punch buttons. I think is what this is telling me. I don't know what those arrow things are doing. I don't know what the difference between a Rage Art and a Rage Drive is. I'm such a... I, I'm a noob. I don't know anything. I'm just going to try mashing both punch buttons and see if that does something cool. Well, it didn't do anything, but I killed him anyway. So, I'm guessing that wasn't the final, final boss. Nope. It's some kind of family feud or something, the story, you know. Kind of like those light up eyes of hers. That's cool. Oh, we got the lava. You gotta get lava. That's that's how you get drama in a story. <laughs> I mean, look at uh, Lord of the Rings. Same thing. We're on Mount Doom, baby. Sauron's gonna hit us with his evil eye, probably. Okay, come on, mom lady, or whatever the heck your deal is. Man, I feel so clunky with this dude. I can't really tell what he's supposed to be. I'm, I'm, whoa, he's got some pixie dust on that one, though. That was a, a cross-button thing of, like, right punch, left kick. Oh, no, I can't do it again. Oh. This music's kind of cool. Oh, I only had to... Oh, no. Yeah, famous last words. I only had to beat her once? No. Now she's a demon or something. I mean, she was a demon, but now she's gonna look like a demon. There you go. Oh, she's kind of a cute demon. Oh, that's a, that's trouble. <laughs> I like the old Japanese stage actor. Can't maintain my feet the routine there. Actually, that's more like a Hong Kong... Hong Kong stuntman uh, can't maintain my footing routine. Oh no, what? <laughs> wow, she's got a tiger. Well, that makes that makes this a whole lot harder. Oh shoot, I could have sworn I was holding back to block. Well, oh, and the tiger just for just for <laughs> insult to injury. Okay, why am I trying to throw her? Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, I'm blowing it. Oh no. Ah, your tiger missed me, stupid tiger. Oh no. Oh, that was good. Uh, now I have to fight the tiger, I bet, right? There's got to be something. Uh oh, she. Ugh, I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry, lady. What do you? What can I get you? Oh, she just turned into Pepto Bismol. No, that's not green. That's pink. Well, whatever. So that was it. There you go. Uh, 
Arcade battle mode, sweet. Pretty brief. I it felt like not too many fights. And again, they are only uh, first to two each. Like this, we got some got some lyrics going on. No particular cinematics or something. I guess obviously those are all in the main story mode. See, like in Tag Tournament 2, it didn't do that. If you beat the game, if you beat arcade mode with a, a character, you would get a big cinematic for that character's team or, or whatever it was. That felt a lot more personal. And also, I was really not feeling... Not feeling any flow with that dude. And yet I still won without having to continue on the default difficulty, so I don't know what that means. Hopefully they have higher difficulties so you could get a challenge if you really wanted. Oh yeah, bring it. Yeah, get all that techno stuff. Yeah, that stop start. Oh, that's the that's what the kids like. Got those voice filters. Oh yeah, that's drama. It's drama, baby. Facial lead. Facial artist. Oh, I don't even know what that is. I just want to be a facial lead. I want to lead with my face. Oh, maybe I don't. Sounds like you just get punched punched right in your beak. Fly Studio. Man, there's a lot of people who worked on this game. I will say though, like, like, uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, that one felt like just, we're just pouring the money onto the screen. All the cinema, all the just, even the, in the opening cinematic for the game, the ending cinematic for characters, the ridiculous, uh, customization mode it was all like just spilling out there just a huge budget for that game it's ridiculous and this game feels like they're they're holding they're, they're taking a slightly more uh, reserved approach to the presentation which you know it's it's cool but I'm just not feeling the money you know I guess if I did story mode there'd be way more cinematics and stuff but Frutiger and New Frutiger. Can you tell the difference between Frutiger and New Frutiger? True Tekken fans, no. I can't talk about true Tekken fans, obviously. I just. I've been playing Tekken for four days. I get that Cryware. You know, I see Cryware, that logo everywhere. I, I don't know what Cryware is. Capcom. Oh, right, because we got Capcom messing. Yeah, who knew Akuma was an integral part of the uh, Tekken lore? Uh, I guess that's that uh, Walking Dead dude. Pro Neo for a plug-in. Sweet. Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono. Gotta be a different Yoko Ono. Right? I don't really like this vocalist as much. This is what they roll in when the when the Americans come along and like, yeah, give them this this dude. They, they don't get the they don't get the top talent Japanese vocalist. This guy might be super famous. I don't know. Just not, just not super impressed with the singing style. Okay, now we got uh, are these French Canadians. Who, who is it? I've lost track. Jeez, I should skip this. Come on. Actual French people. Deutschland, America. Wow. Iberian Peninsula.
Peninsula. Hellas, yeah. Feel it. I feel like we're getting to the end. They're they're running out of things they could possibly credit people with. Well, we're still on Chinese localization. Who knows? That could go on forever. Now we're on Bandai QA. Oh, jeez. Oh, but the music stopped. So, fingers crossed. Come on, come on, home stretch. Special thanks. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ono got in there. Oda. Cool. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know who that was. I don't think. But, you know, I'm not enough of a Tekken student. I'm a filthy, ignorant jerk okay okay we're done right game over yeah i've rarely been so happy to get to a game over okay i got a gold plate and uh, whatever that is and that thing and uh i got a million fight monies okay uh what else do we got? Treasure battle. Now, I am kind of interested in that, but... Well, let's check out practice. I've already looked at this briefly when I was just messing around to get my sound level set. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Shaheen, how about... Well, Haring's got a... He's missing an eye now? That wasn't missing an eye before, was he? Check this stuff out. Yo, what's with these costumes? It's kind of blow. Oh man, why does he look like he's having some trouble? Well uh, uh, I, oh, I should have picked a fancy costume for his chin. Son of a gun. What a wasted opportunity. Get ready for the next battle. battle. Oh, Rage Arts perform being hit while being hit by an opponent's attacks. So it's like a counter move? Whereas a Rage Drive would be more of just a go get em super? Is that how it goes? I don't know Huarang had a flamingo stance. It's like Sarah Bryant. Uh oh. So it, it keeps my settings from the last time I was in uh, training or whatever, practice. I don't know what it's called. Uh, so I had the CPU on fighting. Easy. Uh, there's all these other things. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. So I guess that's good. I don't know. It's probably got all the stuff you want. I turned on these rage things so I could just spam rage moves. Actually, so that... What's funny, though, is you can't you can't bring up, like, the sound options. Like, I really... Because I was trying to set my sound levels and make a lot of noise with rage arts. And then I found I, I did need to drop the sound of it, but I couldn't. You can't do that from this menu. I had to drop out to the main menu to do that. So, uh, okay, so Rage Art. So is that a counter? So, if, oh, he's got a bunch of Rage Drives. Well, what, oh, he showed me one on the loading screens. How am I, gonna, how am I to know? So while I'm all in Rage, which we are permanently right now. Oh, man. So I have to hit down both kicks and then right kick. Okay. Down. Oh no. Oh no. Is that it? Something something crazy happened. Well, that happens as soon as I hit down and both kicks. Huh. So do all his uh No, this one goes up. Forward, up, forward, left, then right, then both. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's not enraging. Ah. <laughs> I 
can't seem to do this one. Do I have to keep holding up forward the whole time? Maybe. No. Oh, I think I did. Ugh. Dang it. Okay, wait a second. How about this? There we go. So I think you do have to hold up the whole time. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Uh, I guess that's cool. I, I kind of preferred not having super moves to be, to be completely up front with y'all. Also, Huarang has not really impressed me. The problem is... At least in the previous Tekken games, a lot of the characters have felt pretty similar to each other. They've all had a lot of the same animations, kind of seem to move the same way in a lot of respects. I mean, these are just generic punches and kicks. Is is the things that come out when you just hammer on buttons all look the same as everybody else's things that come out, except that. But so that was cool. But like 90% looks pretty generic, you know? Throws don't so much. Alright, so that's practice mode. Uh, obviously, just scratching the surface of the things you can do there. Uh, verse battle, I am guessing, is only is not versus CPU. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Maybe it will be. Okay, uh-oh. Uh, controllers? I mean, no. Well, so what happens if I just go ahead and pick somebody? A whole lot of nothing. Alright, yeah, it's only two player. So yeah, this game is, uh, kind of lacking in modes compared to well, let me think. I mean, Tekken Tag Tournament does have more modes. They're not all very useful. So it isn't really, I guess. But it, it doesn't have... Uh, the main one that I was got interested in the Tekken games for was uh, Ghost Battle, where you just... It's sort of like a simplified Virtua Fighter quest mode where you just fight customized CPU characters... Uh, endlessly, and you kind of rank up and stuff. Um, previous, so previous Tekken games did have this ghost battle mode, at least uh, 5 and Tag 2 do. This doesn't. It has treasure battle instead, so treasure battle better, better be bringing the heat. The other thing some previous Tekkens had is a team battle mode where you can just battle versus CPU uh, from 1 to 8 character teams which doesn't really work super well in tag mode. Uh, but, oh well. Uh, um, so, treasure battle is going to be important in terms of would I want to keep playing this game? Because arcade battle is really short. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, Master Raven. So, Raven in 5 is super cool. Uh, he's kind of generic -y, more generic feeling in Tekken Tag Tournament 2. But super cool, like Wesley Snipes, Blade, dude. Uh, he gets replaced by Master Raven in this game, which is kind of a shame. I wish they had both of them. If they brought Raven in as a DLC character, which they, they must do that sometime, right? Come on, they're going to have to do that. Uh, I would certainly be tempted to pick him up if I'm still interested in playing this game at that point. Um, who's this guy? I don't know. Uh, but Master Raven does look pretty cool herself. I don't know.
a lot of the uh, outfits they have, particularly for the women in this game, just look kind of like oddly bulky. Maybe it's just because these these uh, women are kind of buff or something, but I don't know. It's weird. Oh, something exploded. What the heck was that? Commencing mission. Oh. Round Wait a four. second. Oh yeah, that is her. Wow, she's got a really different costume. Whoa. Oh boy. See, like, characters... So many characters have that weird high kick thing where they raise their heel directly over their head. Like, every character seems to have a move like that. Uh-oh. Ooh. It's a little dramatic. Fight. So I wasn't particularly feeling anything there. Like, Raven was a ninja, so presumably... Master Raven. Although, shouldn't she be Mistress Raven? Anyway, I guess they don't go for that kind of thing. Uh... Shouldn't she feel like a ninja too? But I'm just getting like generic. It's just business. She's got a great Don't face. Uh, that just felt like generic combat moves. I mean, you know, ninjutsu is okay. So that's what treasure battle does, I guess. You unlock stuff to use in the customization mode. Um, I've seen people say that, well, it's funny, I've seen people complaining, saying that, man, you know, after, like, a thousand battles, well, <laughs> they said, you run out of stuff to do in treasure battle mode, there's nothing to do, after, like, a thousand battles, there's nothing to do, I'm like, okay, a thousand Round battles, one. dude, that's a lot of battles, Fight. I mean, granted, you would want it just to keep going forever, but a thousand battles ain't bad, so this still feels fairly generic from Master Raven. The other, I mean, so, for instance, Raven in 5, oh, it's Akuma. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just do a fireball. What the, oh, it's Akuma. Um, that club, that's pretty great. Round two. Fight. For instance, in 5, Raven, just when he shows up, he's, he talks all this smack. He's got these crazy uh, wind poses where he does all these, like, hand motions and just messes with you and stuff. He's this awesome character just from his just from his little wind quotes and stuff. And like you didn't really get that feeling from characters in Tag Tournament 2. You didn't get that same level of personality. And here you you aren't getting it. I mean, you aren't getting a whole lot of anything. I guess you might get a little more in uh, the arcade battle mode. Ah, uh, you had that costume last time. Come on. Fight. Oh, I see. The W is the number of wins. I was wondering what that was. So, Master Raven, I'm not getting any any cool any cool ninja, any cool sass from her. What am I? Well, granted, I'm just mashing buttons, but in five, cool stuff came out of Raven when I mashed buttons. Master Raven looks cool as heck, but... Oh, the head. <laughs> I mean, Eliza, is that her name? What's her name? I forget. Anyway, she's at least different. I think she's kind of a gross character, but whatever. I mean, there she does a ninja thing, but for the rest of that fight, she did no ninja thing. Okay, uh... I guess I'm just not cool enough to do the ninja parts. What the heck? Okay, cool. I'm cool. I'm special. So, yeah, so far, I'm, I have not felt... None of the characters I've played here so far have felt unique to me. Oh, why? 
Round one. Okay. Fight. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. Well, I was blocking. Like, so is that unblockable? How, what do you do? It was hilarious. When I first started playing Tekken 1, I didn't know how to block. I didn't know you held back to block. I was so used to Virtue Fighter. I thought if you were going to block, it must be a button, but there was no block button I could find. So I was thinking, oh, cool, this game doesn't have block. That's why it's so popular. You just go all out on people all the time. That would be awesome. So I was super psyched for a little while. I was like, yeah, I was just charging up to people, just popping them. This was, you know, versus the CPU. And then I finally got farther along in story mode or whatever, and the CPU is obviously blocking sometimes. Like, oh, okay. And I had to go figure out how the heck you block, which was actually hard to find because even the manual itself kind of just assumed that you knew that it was obvious how to block. So it only said it like one spot, very minor note about how you actually block. Uh, but now I know how to block in Tekken, so I'm all set. All set to be a Tekken master. The other thing people said about treasure battle mode is that it's too easy. Oh, man. Oh, no. Don't do that. Fight. That is a sweet jacket, though. Got the whole... <laughs> I love that outfit he's got. How it's just all wrinkled up. So the customization looks pretty awesome. I'm not sure about this whole unlocking items business, but uh, we'll go check that out. Oh! Wow, he didn't do much. So, so far, I, I do have to agree this is pretty easy, but I am at a low rank. I mean, if this goes like these things tend to go, there's, uh, there's, you go from 10th queue down to 1st queue, and then to 1st Dan, and then up to 10th Dan, and then from there you go to special named ranks with, where you're like a, you know, ultimate gladiator or something. So I'm still in the newbie ranks. So it shouldn't be hard right now. I'm not sure, I, I don't really like how she just just straight up disappears. It's a little weird. But you know the visuals and the the music and the sound. That's all. That's all good. Um, just not feeling any of these characters yet, man. Oh man! Do <laughs> like some of these nutty outfits? Oh man, I want some sushi. Where's that sashimi? I, I'm not it's been a while. I guess every match in Treasure Battle is an item match, more or less. I was like, I want to quit it and try a different character, but it's an item match. But, you know, watch, the next one's going to be an item match, too. Of course, they basically copied all this from Virtua Fighter. Quest mode. That's all right. Quest mode's cool. Still very... Obviously, there's ways to uncork the offense that I'm not finding by mashing. But I would like the characters just to feel a little more different just off the bat. Okay. Oh man, there's no way to quit out of this without missing out on some kind of item. Now she's a raven, now do some of the cool ninja stuff on me, raven R art. Impress me. <laughs> that was that was really a dud. Oh man. 
KO. I mean, that was Round a lame, two. that was a lame old fight. Fight. The best I can do are these kind of big kick moves. But everybody's got big kick moves. Oh. Everybody's got to move like that. Oh. Man, I don't know why. Why would this guy feel more generic than Tekken Five? Doesn't make sense. Tekken 5's got some really crazy levels. I mean, I love the Penguin level in Antarctica. I love the, uh, the, uh, uh, not Halloween, come on, come on, think. Valentine's Day level with the balloons, pink balloons. Uh, there's a crazy, like, Vegas level or something with, oh man, it's another, who the heck? Round one. Oh, it's war end. All right. Well, this is never gonna end. I mean, not anytime soon, anyway. Oh no, I could it. No. There. It did take me some searching in five to find characters who I did feel some to the King of Iron Fist tournament something seven. cool with, uh, but I did start to find them. I'm not really finding it so far, but I haven't. I still haven't tried very many characters here. Let's face it. I did try Katarina briefly when I was setting sound levels, but I and mean, she's a cool character, I guess, sort of. But she again didn't really stand out in terms of her moves. Now that's different. You know, she's got uh, she, uh, the saw, the buzz saws, but uh, I don't know. Fang never impressed me before. Eddie, I'd liked in five. I don't know about the bears. So, man, I don't know. I don't know about this cast so far. Yeah, I'm actually feeling really uninspired by this cast. Doesn't have Raven, doesn't have, I mean, it does have Marduk, but I'd have to pay for him, and I don't want to pay for him yet if I don't feel like I'm going to have anybody else interesting to play. So which of these, I thought Master Raven would be cool, but, okay, Miguel I don't think I've seen before, have I? I don't know. Go, Miguel. Show me something good. I mean, did they make it so the cool stuff only really comes out when you do rage arts and stuff? It just feels so... It's just everybody just is doing these little punches and kicks, man. And they're all the same punches and kicks. <laughs> Why do I fight her so much? Why does she always have that outfit? Is it because she's... Well, I guess these are pre-configured, customized versions. What the heck? Oh, see again? Generic... Generic motions. There's no sense of a particular martial art that I'm getting from this dude. It just feels like all the rest of them. A little more bashy with his fist, I guess, but that's not... I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. I was feeling it in five with some of the characters. You know, a little something anyway. I mean, it wasn't Virtue of Fighter level of, you know, here's a whole martial art you can learn with this character. It wasn't quite like that. Wait a second, I just realized this doesn't even have, uh... 
What's her name? Christy, the uh, the uh, capoeirista. Is she even in here? Is she even in here? Is she? How can we not have her in here? Wow, that is a that is a pretty weird outfit for King. I mean, King is always a... Well, it's funny because King in... What was it? Tekken 1 or 2? He was this big-time boxer. He had these huge punches. They were really cool. And then once it got to... Maybe it was 5. Maybe it was 2. He started to feel a lot more generic. They really nerd toned down those huge punches that he had at first. So Miguel's kind of a socking dude. Not, it just feels like he's just a guy just throwing throwing punches. <laughs> I mean, is that his thing? Is he just like a just a street thug who just throws punches? I mean, that's cool and all, but it, they haven't really like you could you could take that and then just give him some crazy like stuff he made up himself, right? Some crazy. Moves he made up himself that are kind of weird and maybe ill-advised, but but he's just he's just totally generic moves. All right, come on, man, come on, Tekken Seven. So wait, does it really not have the? Uh... Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. The female capoeira fighter. Terrible with names. I'm sorry. Got a cool of it. These are all such generic feeling in terms of their fighting style. Except maybe Yeti. I mean, he's the male Capoeira guy, right? Or it seems like Capoeira. I can't believe they don't have her. She must be coming along in DLC, right? I mean, maybe that's what they're keeping everybody waiting for. Man, I don't know. This this default cast is super generic -y feeling. Oh wait, is she that no she isn't. Man, I don't know. This is kind of a boring cast. No idea what his deal is. Jeez. Well, let's see if Eddie at least still has his old mojo. Looks like it from those poses. Eddie Gordo. Hmm. This is weird. Just weird. How can you have a large cast that's this generic feeling? It's even more generic feeling than in Tag 2, in a way. I mean, she's kind of a cool character, but... I don't think she does anything different fighting-wise either. Not that I saw when I was trying to play her. Okay, so... Eddie... Even this is not... I mean, that's a throw. And those tend to animate different, but... Round two. Fight. It's a little different. It's just not quite the same flow that he had previously. I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm starting to think that the... I'm not impressed by the fighting moves in this game so far.
I have not seen a cool fighting move yet. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Tekken 5 had cool moves. Not everybody, but some of them. <laughs> they like that outfit. I do like these outfits. But... I mean, so we got unique outfits. We don't have unique moves. Look at that. What is that? That's just a generic juggle. Just, just, uh. Kind of like they took how they genericized things for Tekken Tag Tournament 2's sort of universal intra character juggling and just made that the default. That's all we got now, even in a non tag battle game. It's not quite as juggle happy, so it's even more boring. I, I don't understand what they. Man, I don't know. I don't know what their idea for the direction for this was, but it seems really boring. Okay. Round one. Fight. Yeah. Uh. so bored right now. Fight. I mean, how can you be bored playing a capoeira fighter? <sighs> I don't get it. Okay, how many, how many more characters should I try to fight? Uh, there's gotta be somebody who feels cool. I mean, this guy's different. Different looking. I have no idea what his bag is. Looks like a goofball. All right, well, just, I guess I don't know what Claudio's deal is. He looks like a jerk. Well, let's do Gigas and then Claudio. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Those are fun skins anyway. There was the bricks. Yeah. Gigas. Oh, it's Gigas, not Gigas. Gigas. Okay. <laughs> oh, of course. Round one. Fight. Oh, throw him. Ah, man, that throw effect is purple flare throw effect is dumb. This just feels like big big punch robot round two which is basically what Fight. Jack is right so look we only had to d design one guy's move basically and we got two guys out of him because we gave him two different models yeah he's a big punch robot too it's fighting robots or what is it I don't know well that was that was it that was the punching robots Okay, obviously he's not wearing that. So it's just unlocking random items for random characters? Whoa. So this is a DLC character. I was wondering. Round one. Fight. Now I was playing her in tag battle because she seemed cool. She's got sort of like belly dancer moves. I mean, it's not a 
martial art, but maybe she's some martial art, I don't know. But, uh, she's definitely animated different anyway. But I realized after playing for her for a while in Tag 2 that she was really just the effects of her hits, even though her kicks and stuff animated differently. They just did the same thing. It was all the same pop-up juggle stuff. So that got kind of boring. But I did custom. I made I made her a couple customized, slightly customized costumes in Tag 2. So she's a DLC character, and I have not bought her DLC, but she popped up in treasure battle, so that's cool. But, uh, that, again, that, that fight was a nothing. I mean, even even aside from how easy it was, she, she didn't do any move that anybody else doesn't do. Come on. Round one. Fight. I don't even know this guy's name. So bored. Uh, I said I was gonna do one more character, didn't I? Oh, man, I don't know. All these characters just do the same exact thing. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. This will be this douchebag. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's a shiny version. Well, let's just do it. Claudio Serafino. Okay. Come on, Claudio. You got to save Tekken 7 for me. I'm so bored. How can, how can they have spent this much money making a game that looks so cool and yet is so samey-wamey in every fight? with every character. It's weird, you start hearing the volcano exploding before you hear. That's a cool face paint thing. Round one. Fight. Well, guess what, Claudio? You're doing the same stuff everybody else does. I guess I'm just not good enough to get to the cool bits, but man, he didn't. See, he does that stupid stuff, but that's not helping. Uh, I'm still bored. Well, let's check out customization. Oh, that's care about that. Okay, obviously I'm going to care customize one person for now. I'm just going to customize a girl because that's more fun. I could do Katarina. So, 10 slots. Maybe there's more than that. Maybe I could have scrolled down. I didn't try. Uh, okay. So, oh, I see full face. It's kind of cool. Uh. Wow. What the heck? What is? Oh. 
Mm. Why is everything kind of blurry in here? It's like we're way res down or something. Holy, lots of glasses, Batman. It's like, it's like the Tekken Tag Tournament 2 thing. Um, yeah. Not like that. What is this? Okay. So you have to pay money to not have sunglasses for her? Oh, I just wanted to zoom in, but I don't... I'm on an arcade stick, so it's not ideal. Uh, oh well. I don't like those. That. Nah, okay, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, what? So I can't change color. Yeah, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 had kind of a problem. Oh, what? by these tops. Maybe the good ones are... So why is this locked? Oh. Jeez. What is up with these? Ugh. Whoa. What the... Oh, metallic. That's a separate item pack or something. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm as blown away by this as I was by the uh, editor in Tag 2. It's... It's on par with it, maybe. Japanese male fantasies. Alright, I guess. I guess that's how you explain this. I mean, I... Yeah, I own DOA 5. Uh, oh. Pizza. Ah, yeah. oh, Sledgehammer. That's from Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Oh, there's a lot of junk you can put on your back. That's my saw, that's what I want. Yeah, a lot of this is from Tag 2. What? Okay. That's kind of fun. Whoops. What does this do? 
such as when you get hit. When you hit make opponent guard. That's weird. I picked it, whatever. Okay, what is this? Oh, Aura. Aura's in... Five has Aura's, and they look like... They look like force fields from the old David Lynch Dune movie. It's strange. These look a little better. I mean, a lot better, actually. They look a lot better than the nasty effects in... The uh, five that everybody attach, or final showdown that everybody attaches to their characters too. So that's all right, I guess. What is that? Hmm. Ugh, okay, so that's more like a final showdown effect. Yikes. Oh. So they can't teabag you? Uh, uh, I see. It's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, well. I'm not feeling mega inspired right now. Okay, maybe something cool. Maybe hair will give me some idea. I like the shape. I don't like the color, but I guess you can color these things, right? Yeah. So this is actually way less hair customization than Tag 2 had. Way less. In Tag 2, you can customize like three separate things of the hair. You can customize the shape of the hair in three different ways, and each of the ways has way more options than this, the one way. Wild Quiff? Wow, I, I don't think you, I didn't think you could have said that on television. I mean, these, these styles are alright. That's cool. But, uh,. Of course, we got DLC in here. Oh, jeez. I don't know, man. If I was going to play with hair, I'd play in Tag 2, that's for sure. I didn't have to buy that. Okay, well that's, that's something. Uh, oops. Well, does this stuff even go on?
Okay, I would actually like it better if it swam around my head, but whatever. Uh, those are cool. That's kind of cool. Put sunglasses, generally. are just really bulky. Tag 2 had that problem as well. It's kind of cute. It's alright. It's still really bulky. Like, why... Why is this shirt make... It's, uh... So everything I could get her just bulks her out oddly. And these are really the the costumes that she picks from? These are mostly boring. I mean, so her default is a pretty ornate costume. I mean, that's definitely making a statement. The rest of this stuff, definitely a come down. I mean, I, this is looking like my best option. What is that? Uh, yeah. At least that, that color it happens to have contrast nicely with her hair. Wait, did that really say a million? Wow. Alright, well, I guess they gotta charge you for something. Wait, oh, come on. make her butt look big. Uh, wow. So I didn't change the... Ah, oh, I don't really like any of these. I mean, I kind of like this, but I don't like that color. Those are okay. Oh, these are gross. Again, the default looks way better modeled, way more tight. Like, why? Her legs are hips are more slender in her default pants. <laughs> what the heck? Why do I want to get these pants that bulk her out? Ah, that's weird. Getting bulked out. Somebody just likes big hips. Okay. 
hated. Jeez, I'm gonna mess this way up. <laughs> Just come with the pants. It goes back to her default hair? Can't be right, can it? Tekken Tag Tournament 2 actually had button combinations, so if you were using an arcade stick, you could still rotate the camera by holding a button down and moving the, the arcade stick. Okay, so what the heck just happened? Closer at those presets. Were those just built up from the available pieces there? Oh, my hair looks kind of weird. Round one. Fight. <laughs> K.O. 
Round two. Fight. <laughs> Serena at least feels. Wait a second, is that, no, whatever this lady's name is. At least feels a little more mobile than a lot of those other characters. Oh, I'm getting skunked. I don't really like her without glasses. Close up. Overdid the eye makeup a little bit. Okay. What I do when I lie on the ground, I, I press back arrow. Same stage. Round one. Fight. I wanted to see what her outfit looked like in different lighting. Dang it! K.O. Round two. The other thing in, uh, what's the other mode in the previous ones called? Uh, did I can't think. The mind Round is one. all used up. Fight. Whoa. Oh, that's Illy. Oh, okay. Illy, that is. Well, am I stuck on this stage? What is the deal? What are the odds of getting it three times in a row? Have I broken something? KO. Okay. Round two. Fight. Ghost Battle, that's what the mode is called in the previous games. In Ghost Battle, you could pick from three opponents for the next match. That was cool. This girl's got a few moves. This you don't pick anything. It just uh, wherever it wants to go. Man, this is incessant techno. Oh, this is another DLC character. It's Leroy. Take That's his the name. Trash. Round one. Why am I stuck on this stage? What the heck happened? What the heck is going on? Is this what it always does and I just didn't notice it stays on a stage for a while? Oh. Wow. Oh, no. KO. Round two. Fight. Just give me another stage. Why am I stuck on this stage? Maybe now? Probably not. I guess it probably does have to save on load times. 
Oh, this is taking his time. So is this a different stage? Yep. Oh, because we all have to fight under volcano. Huh? Well, now I can finally see my outfit a little better. And it's pretty boring. Oh, the stupid tiger. stage, right? And you know, all this talk about a rage drive, I don't I don't get into the rage thing very often because I'm I guess because I'm not getting hit much so far. Round one. Fight. Now I can see your outfit decently. I guess it's all right, but it's also poor. Oh. All right. Uh. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. So. Seven. Yeah, I guess these are all pieces that I could see there, because there's that, which is almost what I have. Yeah, well... So that's Tekken 7. Uh, kind of just makes me want to go play Tekken 5. Because... I don't know, man. There's, there isn't a whole lot... There is some customization in Tekken 5, actually. I, I didn't really get into that. But uh, it's more that just the characters seem... At least some of the characters, a, a minority, but some of them seem kind of interesting in 5, whereas here they seem even more boring than they are in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which I wouldn't have thought was possible. And the customization options are not noticeably better than in Tag 2, and in fact, as far as hair goes, they're not nearly as impressive. So that's surprising. And uh, there's fewer modes than in Tag 2. The treasure battle seems sort of analogous to... Uh, what the heck is it in 5 and Tag 2? Uh, it's called... Uh, yeah, I can't think of it. Why not? I'm losing my mind. Ghost battle, that's what it is. Um, but it's... You, you can't pick from three opponents for the next match. That's not great. And uh, I don't know if you're always stuck on a level for that long. That's kind of weird. How I was stuck here on that Azure plane or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
not super blown away by Tekken 7. Well, and I'm especially just bored, bored with the fighting. It's there's there's way less going on in terms of crazy stuff than there is in Tag 2, which even though the characters all felt pretty samey, they could all do all kinds of crazy stuff. Whereas in this, I mean, there's rage drives and things, but aside from those, and I never even get pumped up with those because I'm fighting on these low-level chumps still in uh, treasure battle, so I don't know. I don't, I don't like the whole concept of raid tribes. Anyway, I don't want supers. Don't give me supers. So, I don't know, man. For now, I think the sweet spot for me in these Tekken games I have is Tekken 5. Maybe Tag 2 once in a while just for, just for you know, goofing around. But, uh... And if I wanted to mess with customization. And there's more, well... I was going to say there's more characters. I'm not sure that's true with all the DLC characters they've pumped out for Tekken 7 here, but it's probably pretty close. Uh, and they all come included with Tag 2. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure why I would come back to Tekken 7 right now. I like the combat better in 5. I like the customization and just zaniness better in Tag 2. It's true I don't really like tag battles, but uh, you can actually play solo. At least for your side, you can play solo in Tag 2. So, that's yeah, a tough argument for Tekken 7. I don't know, maybe I'll come back to it someday, but for now I feel like I kind of had enough Tekken 7 here, and in fact, I feel like I didn't really play anything because all the characters felt the same. The uh, arcade battle is super short. Treasure battle just all feels the same. Didn't do the story thing because I don't care. Customization is not blowing me away like it is in the uh, tag two, so man, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know about Tekken 7. Doesn't quite feel like it had the budget of tag two either. Maybe it did, who knows. Well, so that's it for me on Tekken 7, at least for now, maybe forever. Uh, I was thinking maybe I would do like a 2D palette cleanser before going into some Virtue Fighter or something, but man, I kind of feel like I just want to go, go do some Virtue Fighter for a direct comparison. So I think the next episode will be, I think I'm due to do some Vanessa Lewis quest mode in VF5. And uh, that should be quite a bit different from all this Tekkening. So I think that's what I'll try to do next. Uh, thanks for watching this. And probably if I, well, probably the next Tekken I play will probably be Tekken 5, because that's kind of the one that grabbed me a little bit so far. Uh, Tag 2 did in terms of its customization and just insanity. 7? Man, I don't know. Like, the characters don't even look noticeably higher detail in 7. In fact, I saw some breakdown on some uh, website or YouTube video or something. I think it was a YouTube video showing that, in fact, Tekken 7's characters look more like Tekken 6 characters than even at the level of Tekken Tag 2's characters. So uh, that's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know what Namco's doing. But maybe they recycled kind of the character creations or some of the models or something from an earlier game. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, all right, I got to go. This, this is weird. Tekken 7, good night.